Hey everyone, Dan Takashi here. Today is currently right now January 14th, 7.45 p.m. New York Eastern Time, and it is currently 9.45 a.m. January 15th, Japan time. I want to give you guys, as usual, a five to 10 minute update on what's happening in world markets and not just markets, but economic news, society news, political news, etc. Give you an update of the biggest things that's happened in the business world the last 24 hours. My name is Dan. I'm a former Wall Street guy. Please see the below description area as to who I am. Also, guys, would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and press that like button, guys. It would really make my day if you smash that like button. So thanks, guys, for your support. As usual, guys, I'm still trying to put together a new team. So if you are interested, please see the below description area and send me an email if you are interested thanks again guys if you meet the criteria so guys, okay, let's get started here uh what's happened let's first start with the stock markets as usual let's see what's going on in terms of global stock markets let's first take a look at the u.s markets and take a look as to see what happened here so First, let's look at the U.S. markets here. Looking at first the Dow Jones today, a little movement today. The Dow Jones was down today 0.22%. The S&P 500 was down 0.38%, and the Nasdaq was down 0.12%. TSX Canada was up 0.13% today. This is, again, all for the 14th. In Europe, we see Eurostox 50 for the top 50. Eurostox was up 0.69%. FTSE 100 was up 0.84%. DAX Germany up 0.35%. CAC France up 0.33%, and IBEX Spain up up 0.14 percent in asia again this is for yesterday for japan this is for the 14th uh we see the nikkei was up 0.22 percent very little movement and the topics was down 0.2 percent hansen hong kong was up 0.93 percent csi china making a big move down 1.93 percent asx australia up 0.2 percent and msci asia emerging markets up 0.48 percent so overall guys kind of a small movement day very little volume going on but do note guys that there is a lot of movement especially in hang Seng, hong kong moving up but at the same time china is moving down here so that's a bit of a big movement here also guys do know there's a lot of stuff going on in the markets today that you can't really see uh the transportation sector the airline sector doing very strong today uh also do note that you know there's a lot of uh sort of uh, attention right now on biden's new stimulus plan that's going to be coming out uh etc etc uh energy companies continue to do well so lots of stuff going on underneath the market and the surface here but the overall market is kind of quiet at the moment so now let's move on to economic news and what's going on today in terms of the main most ec biggest economic news that was uh, announced today uh, we see that president Biden unveils his new 1.9 trillion dollar plan that's right 1.9 trillion dollar plan uh, much expected multi-trillion dollar rescue package to support the businesses and households struggling to cope with economic destruction the proposal called the American rescue plan includes $1,400 checks for most Americans, a temporary boost in unemployment benefits, and a rise in the federal minimum wage to $15 per hour. This is much bigger than expected, I think. The numbers that I was looking at Initially, they were talking about 1.2, 1.4 trillion. 1.9 is much bigger. Of course, $1,400 checks. This is to make up for the you know only $600 that was given out the last round. So again, this is much larger than expected. Uh, this is kind of expected for a lot of presidents in the first 100 days. They usually, they make a big announcement right before they get inaugurated. This is actually quite normal, guys. Uh, in other parts of the news, we see that, especially in Canada, the energy and healthcare stocks continue to do well. This is also true in the U.S. stocks today as well. Uh, oil continues to go up today wti crude is around 53 dollars here in germany we see the economy shrank by five percent year on year in 2020 uh, again this is the uh, most since the financial economic crisis of 2008 and 2009 again this is quite uh, expected as well otherwise we didn't see that much economic news so now let's move on to society news let's maybe look at uh, you know what's going on with coronavirus and the daily new cases daily new deaths that were reported today so let's first look at daily new cases reported today we see daily new cases reported today worldwide was for January 13th at 754,598. Looking at daily new deaths today, reported again at a new all-time high at uh, we see here 16,415 daily new deaths are continuing to climb here this is kind of worrisome to me the fact that daily new cases is not really moving that daily new deaths is continuing to climb here to me sort of shows that the number of new cases is continuing to be concentrated in probably the elderly generation maybe in the uh, generation with a bit more of uh, pre, -con pre existing conditions here looking at the new cases by country we see in the US today reported 238,000 Brazil around 62,000 UK around 47,000 and then Spain 
Spain, France, Germany, Russia, South Africa, India, Colombia, anywhere between 16,000 to 38,000. Spain made a big movement up today. This is quite big here. Again, the, all the culprits are usual, US, Brazil, UK. These are the main three culprits at the moment. Uh, again, we're seeing India here stabilizing very nicely. And otherwise, things kind of look similar to yesterday at the moment. A lot of vaccine is being already distributed in a lot of these main countries here. So let's continue to see if not just the new cases, but the new deaths. I'm looking for that number to go down over the next couple of weeks. Let's keep an eye on that. Uh, now let's move on to the main business news today. Uh, of course, right now, main business news is really heavily focused on Biden's new $1.3 trillion package. Again, this is a, a big foundation for surge in jobs and spending that many economists say is needed to avoid a long-term damage. Uh, again, I'm just kind of just amazed that this continues to go on and on and on here. <laughs> Um, again, again, uh, we had a statement from Airbnb CEO since travel is never going back to the way it was before the pandemic. Despite this being said here today, uh, we see that actually Airbnb, the uh, valuation did actually break $100 billion today. So again, I did a uh, video on this in the Japanese channel here. Um, otherwise, we're seeing here uh, more and more news here. I think that's focused on uh, Biden's plan, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we're reporting for Biden pushes for expansive virus response uh, is part of this plan as well. Uh, stocks and bonds are kind of steady. Not much is going on. Uh, Bitcoin claws back a lot of its losses. Again, I'll do another video on this, but it's going back near the all time highs right now. It's near back 40,000 again. And otherwise, sort of the world is as normal. Things are just kind of continuing to slender up uh, in a lot of different stock markets here uh fine you know political news again this is an update from yesterday but we're continuing to see what happens with the senate here because look you know we know what's going on with the house it's already passed but now it's up to the senate likely as i said yesterday the senate is probably not going to uh have a impeachment trial before biden's inauguration it doesn't look it doesn't look likely at all at this point so let's see what happens here but all the data i'm looking at here indicating that probably not like gonna kind of happen it's probably gonna happen after the inauguration here uh, otherwise guys it's kind of quiet more and more heat is coming on uh, I think uh, you know a lot of different organizations especially uh, looking at uh, I think Facebook and etc I talked about this yesterday in my Japanese video Facebook is cracking down on the stop the steal posts uh, again may hinder riot organizer organize, organizer search uh, yes at the same time but it is also um, I mean, it is kind of, I think, hampering free free speech at the same time here. So I think it's sort of a sweet and sour in this whole situation. Look, guys, um, overall, the situation is, is I mean, look, I, I did a post on this in my Japanese channel, so I'll do it right now in English. I am a kind of uh, feeling a little bit distraught with a lot of the ultimate censoring that's going on here. Uh, I feel a little bit nervous, a little bit uncomfortable that maybe even any of my content on any of these platforms may be taken off at any time if, you know, enough people say that, oh, you know, Dan, what Dan's saying is causing harm, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of this is becoming subjective, not objective. And uh, what's happening with Trump, look, I'm not a Trump supporter, but, and again, I think what he said on Twitter was a bit of a uh, mistake, especially the January, I think that, what is it, uh, December 19th statement regarding, you know, saying like, let's go wild. That was a little bit overboard. However, he's getting banned from everything. And not just that, all his supporters are starting to get banned as well for making starting statements statements the social networking is supposed to be a neutral environment it's, but the companies are supposed to be neutral i thought it was supposed to be decentralized but this is clearly a centralized organization organizations and they are making a statement that they're so, sort of on the side of uh i'd say the left and they're sort of anti-trump and you know it just kind of begs the question as to look look where is free speech for all of us uh am i going to get taken off is the next person is the next person so it's something sort of just to ponder in the future as we move forward into the world of sns here uh what is free speech how is it where is should it be monitored again guys just something for the plot here because news right now a lot of news especially the younger generation not watching the main news media or watching sns and watching what people are posting so this is something really to ponder for the future thanks guys for watching my channel thanks guys again please subscribe to my channel and uh, press the like button if you enjoyed today's content thanks and have a great day